Uh, hello guys! Alright, so back, continuing on for my beautiful review of us. So, as I said, I love that scene where they're sitting down and she's telling the story that once upon a time. <coughs> you can't fair away! Sorry. Here, let's move on to our next topic, Rob. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but I like that scene, like, where it's just this really intense scene, and them sitting down, and the family there talking, the fire's lighting, the kid's just kind of like that, with the mask on, the, the family there crying, Mom, what are we going to do? It's okay, baby, it's okay. And it's an intense scene, and she's like, Once upon a time, there was a girl, and this girl, blah, 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 and she's just telling this whole backstory and all that. And then, it's like, and then... The clone was you and all that and then she starts kind of crying and I cutting herself and just smiling like that and it's so fucking creepy and it's effective as well very effective and very erective no joke what the fuck anyway um, and the little girl is just there like this which is fucking creepy as fucking fuck um, and then Winston Duke is all like what are you gonna do with us and he goes ah! and the, the other Winston Duke and he's like Okay, okay. And it's just a really fucking creepy scene. And it goes on for a while. They're just there talking and all, like, we're going to do stuff. And they have the scissors like this. And they're, like, you know, um, pulling up the scissors and all that crazy shit. And essentially, I am as fucked, lads. Look at that. Anyway, um, essentially, elbow, elbow. That's my elbow. I mean, elbow's kind of connected to your arm anyway, Anyway, basically, um, so that scene goes on, there's a dialogue heavy scene, the dialogue in that scene is great, it goes on, like, oh, what are you going to do with us, please don't hurt my family, it's like, we will not hurt anyone, and then, like, the kids like that, is like, come on, and then you get this really intense moment, where it's like, we'll start with you, and the mother, basically, the father gets attacked, like, no, daddy, no, and all that, she's like, run, and she's trying to run around the house, and by the way, the power goes out as well, it's like, Phew. What happened? The power is like the power is out. What are we gonna do? Hey, there's a family outside. You know, it adds to the suspense. Like, no, dad, no. And the other Winston Duke nearly chased him. It's like run, and then the daughter runs away, and the other daughter is running after, and then the the son is there running. And essentially, um, you know, the mother, the other, the uh, clone is basically grabbing her like ah, and she's like oh, and she's trying to stab her like. Ah. And it's like, oh, fuck. So it's an intense action scene. It builds up and it's brilliantly fucking done, brilliantly acted, brilliantly. It's very effective. Um, and essentially, it's fucking water, lads, I tell you. They're running away. Great shot at him running outside. Winston was like, come on, come on. Running outside. Um... Now this scene kind of cuts back, it cuts back between the different members of the family and what they're up to. Um, but I'll kind of just describe each scene. So you get a great scene of Winston Duke and he's being chased by the guys like, come on, come on, and all that. And then I believe the daughter's there. He's faced by Bash, she is the golf club, like, oh shit. And then she's being chased as well. And she's runs like, you've got to go run and all that. And so the father runs to, Winston Duke run, runs to like the, boat and shit, it's like, oh no, come on, drives a speedboat, and you get this great scene, where he's trying to fucking fight, he's like, come on, and he falls in the water, he's like, oh shit, and then you're like, oh shit, and then he comes up behind him, like, gosh, I'm gonna drown him, and it's like, oh fuck, this scene is fucking intense, so it goes on, and it kind of cuts back and forth, and the, the mother's being attacked, like, ah, oh, it's like, we're gonna kill you, it's like, please don't hurt me, hurt me, and all this, and at that moment, it kind of becomes a little bit of a home invasion movie at times. But I don't consider it a home invasion movie. Just that scene itself is great. And then the kid runs away. He's grand. And he opens the door. And he's in the closet. Or whatever. And the other kid's there like looking at him. And all that. And then takes his mask off. And he's born. And you're like oh fuck. And the makeup effects are that were great. For like a 2019 horror film. <clears throat> the reason I say that. Is because I feel like. A lot of it things nowadays are not practical but you can tell that that was practical um he's lighting the thing up and he's trying to grab the thing and lighten it up and it's kind of coming back and forth and the kid's scared and he puts the mask on and the other kid puts the mask on almost like a mirror 
So I really enjoyed that part of it. It's fucking great. I loved it. But the woman's being attacked and all. And I believe the girl's there and she kind of comes like, oh, slams the door, gets out, hits the kid like, oh. And as she's attacking, I think the little girl slams the door. It's like, oh, that's one of yours. And then she runs away like, ah, the girl's after her. And she's like, no, and all that and runs, opens it. And then opens the door, grabs her kid, son, runs out like, come on, come on to get out. But as I said, Winston Duke, they're fighting his other version, like, ah, and he's trying to hit him and stab him and kick some other thing. He's like, oh, fuck. And then the, the guy's like, ah, oh, and then he drills and then gets all bloody and shit. And you're like, that was a great kill. Um, and he gets out and it's like, come on, he gets a speedboat. Um, the door is just running like, oh my God, help, help. You know, it runs away. And then the other guy's just running like after like uh, uh, gets on the fucking the car is like come on get off my car and they was like get off my car she's watching from the distance go off i'm gonna call the police and then he, she just goes over <laughs> slits his fucking troll kills him like oh shit so there's some great tension it's creepy she runs away and they're like oh fuck some shit's going down mommy i went timber i'm edit that i'm not joking <laughs> that was just yeah yeah so they're running off and then they run away and your woman like she grabs like I believe the fire stick and goes ah come fights the other woman back like no oh, runs away like come on let's go get the golf club come on they're, they're reunite come on we gotta go they drive off and like let's go they drive off and you get this they walk run away or whatever and they're like we gotta go and you get this great moment we cut to Elizabeth Moss and the the husband and I fucking love this next part this part was awesome but I love the the whole, that was a lovely fart, lads. I love the whole fucking scene, though. That The intense scene in the house. I thought that was just really well done. Brilliantly done. Great performances. Um, to add the sinister and fear aspect on the little girl smiling. Like, it was creepy as shit. Like, but Jordan Peele's great at doing that. Like, you even get out at times as well. It's fucking creepy. But this one is creepier. Um, this is probably the scariest of his three films. But as I said, get out's the best one. Of his three films. Um, I mean, if you count Candyman, which he didn't direct, but he the the reboot, the requel, which he didn't direct, but he um, produced, and it feels very Jordan Peele, though, that film. God, I might watch that, actually, when I'm finished this video. I might. I don't know. Anyway, um, essentially, like, uh, Essentially, the way I say, essentially not. Tell us, right? No, basically, essentially, um, we cut to Elizabeth Moss and her husband, and it's like, baby, you gonna take the lights off? It's like, babe, the twi twins are up. It's like, okay, I'm doing something. I'm working, and you can kind of tell the kind of fake bitchiness that they're there. They're, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to relax and all that. He's like, well, do do right now, okay? It's like, come on, I need help with it. It's like, oh, god damn it. And twins like, Mom, Dad, what are you doing? Just being spoiled and all. It's like, hey, Ophelia, play some Beach Boys. And then they play, ah. Uh, and all. They got the colorful clothes you wear. And all that. No, before that, they're like, wait, someone's out there. They're like, who? There's no one out there. It's like, ooh, look, someone's out there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like, someone else is like, stop it. I'm serious. And all that. It's like, no one's out there. Relax. And all that kind of scene. And you're like, oh, shit. And then it's like, he, Ophelia. It's like, yes, play Beach Boys. It's all Ophelia is kind of like the Google uh, home thing. The Hey Google, which is a lot of fucking shit, by the way. I don't ever get that. It's like, ah, I love the colorful clothes you wear. And they play good vibrations. Like, play good vibrations, great. And then the twins like, mom, dad. And then the two twins come up like, oh my God, what's happening? No. And then it's like, what the fuck? And then. Essentially, the guy comes like, "What's happening?" And then the clone of him comes like, slits the troll, and the two the two twins get stabbed. And they're like, "Oh God, no!" And then she fucking gets slit, her troll slit, and she's like, oh, "I'm covered in blood." <clears throat> Wait, I don't know, covered in blood, and you're like, "Oh fuck!" Great practical effects there, and you're just kind of like, "What the actual fuck?" You know? And she's on the ground, and she's like. And, like, this is a great moment that's dark but really funny and the humour adds to it. And D Jordan Peele knows how to make a scene serious and disturbing and funny at the same time in a good way. Not like the comedy in most Marvel movies nowadays. So she's there on the ground like, Ophelia, 
call the police, and then the, the speaker comes on. Sure, playing Fuck the Police by N.W.A. And you just get Fuck the police, coming straight from the underground. Starts them a young N-word because I'm bad, because I'm bruh. I'm not the other color, so police think they have the authority to kill a minority. Fuck that shit, because I ain't the one. Be a punk motherfucker with a badge and a gun. Sorry, I know the whole rap. So you get, she gets stabbed over and over again. You're like, oh shit, so... Not only does he put in five on it, but he puts in fucking NWA, fuck the police. Great rap music uh, choices, Jordan. I'm proud of you, kid. I tell you, boy. I'm proud of you. Um, so I love that. And it's like, oh shit, nice house. And then the, the whole song, you get to hear it go, so they're on like, oh my god, thank god, where are they? They walk in the house like, oh my god, you guys are here. And then the, the, the clowns try to attack them like, oh shit, like... Elizabeth Moss kind of like, stop it. And once again, they all play creepy so well as well. Like, Elizabeth Moss, like, oh shit. And then the, the husband's trying to attack, like, oh fuck. And, and, and the, they run off, and then the kids go upstairs. Or, oh, like, what's going on? And then they get tired. They bring up um, the mother, and they tie her up, and it kind of cuts back and forth. Her in the bedroom, and she's there doing her makeup. And then she walks over and then starts slitting her fucking face. And she's like, ah, ah, and the blood. And it's just done so fucking well and you're like it's fucking creepy and it's an original idea which is hard to come by nowadays um but yeah i, I enjoyed that you know aspect of the film and then like you know you have the two kids like okay come on let's go and the two brother and sister are there with the the golf club Matt's like, come on, and you hear the whole song, and they're looking like, oh god, they're dead, they go up, they're walking, they're there, they walk up, the twins come out, like, oh, one comes out of the room, like, oh shit, smacked them, across the face, like, oh fuck, hits them, like, crazy ones attacking, like, fucking hits her, falls over the balancer, Pow! fucking great death, I'm like, holy shit, that was a great kill. Um, and the other one comes to attack, like, come on, mom, let's go, and then the one that's attacking, like, oh shit, and all that. The father's there, comes in, and starts fucking attacking, and then the father comes in and kills the, the other guy outside, I believe. Um, and then they go downstairs, and then Elizabeth Moss is trying to attack in the kitchen. The, the horror is like, okay, what happened? I already killed her. It's fine. It's great. So then she's there. They're, they're on the ground, and she tries to attack him. Like, oh, shit. Smacks him, beats him to death. And it's, once again, it is a scene that kind of builds up a while. Like, the, they're walking around the house, and it's slow and tense. And there's a lot of tension, but it's done really well. It's not boring. It keeps you on the edge of your seat, no matter how many times you watch it. For me, it was twice, as I said. <clears throat> but, so I thought that was great. And you know what else I think is great? That fart that I just done there. Oh! That was a nice one. Um, so, yeah. Um... Of course, you know, um, what you call it? They're like, what? What's happening? Are we all okay? It's like, yeah. Oh, this is kind of a fu and the, the humor says it's a fucked up vacation. You know, it's like, yeah, I want to go home. It's like, yeah, God, what are they sending the news? They're like, where do we go? What do we do? I don't know. And then they put out. It's like, we gotta stay here. I think we should go. It's like, no, we gotta stay here. We have food and water and everything. No, I think we should go and all this kind of shit. And he's like, no. And the father's like, no. I don't want to go and all this. It's dangerous. And they, they put turn on the news and like people are saying that there's an epidemic of people like, randomly attacking. It's like, come on. It's like, hello, what is it? Oh my God. It's like live right now. Someone's coming at us. Looks like me. Who looks like me. They're attacking us. Like what's happening? They're attacking us. And they look, they look like me. They're like, oh, here they come. And it's like camera crashes. Like, okay, we will get back to you. But we're urging everyone to stay in their homes and shit. And you're like, oh, fuck. So it's spread everywhere, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? And it's just like, oh, what do we do? We'll just stay here. we be fine. No, they could find us anywhere. It doesn't matter. They'll follow us no matter where we go or whatever. And she's like, why don't we just set up some home alone, some traps and stuff, like home alone and all that, <laughs> which I love. It's like, and it's like, please don't mention home alone. It's like, what's home alone <laughs> and all that? And I'm like, you dumb bitch. Like, sorry. How the fuck do you not know what Home Alone is? Like, I'm a 2000s kid. And I know what fuck... Dude, I know most shit. Like, I was raised properly. I know the classics. You know what I mean? 
I mean, Home Alone is actually not that old. Like, what, well, Home Alone would have only been 10 years old, actually, when I was born. That's fucking, that makes me feel old. What the fuck? Oh my god. Anyway, so, there's that. And they're like, let's go. So they go outside, they're going, they're walking around, the family are there, like, oh god. To get in the car, it's like, oh shit, and the mother gets stabbed. It's like, oh my god, she's been stabbed. Let me drive or whatever. It's like, no, 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 come on. And they're like, come on. And then the little girl's running, like, get in the car, come on. Hurry up and all. And they get in, they drive. She's like, come on, drive, let me drive. Okay, be careful. It's like, no, you're not driving. And the father's like, you're not driving. Yes, I am. You're not driving. You're me only help. You're in danger. You're in danger. It's like, so they're driving, and then the little girl runs and just runs on top of the roof. It's like, What's happening? Jumps around. It's like, okay, come on. Box up, drives, and she's like, ah, she's on the sunroof. Come on, come on, and all. Tries to stop her, like, whatever. Crashes, drives through the night, and it's just this really intense, like, sequence, and you're kind of like, what the actual fuck? So you hear in the news reports, they're driving. They got to go. The mothers are attacking more. Um, and the next day, we come up to the next day home. Oh, Oh yeah, she was in Twelve Years a Slave as well, and she's also in. Um, this actress was also in uh, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and uh, Rise of Skywalker. Well, Last Jedi can go fuck itself. Anyway, sorry, that that was a bit of a random tangent. Don't give a fuck, right? Get eat me arse. Anyway, I've been saying that for a while. Maybe I want you to be joking. So they're driving, and the next day we get great shots, and then they're like, "Okay, what do we do?" So we got to go to the beach and stuff. It's like. There's little kids like that. It's like me. It's like, you guys okay? It's like, yeah. Like, mom, what's that? And then you get into the final act. There's a final kind of like part of the film. And it's, it's dark. It's very fucking dark. It's great. Uh, the sunny atmosphere, the summer atmosphere. It's like, oh, God. And like, what is it? And it's like, there they are. And she's like, okay, let's go. They run. And it's like, there, there's the kid there. And they're running or whatever. And the kid's like, where, where are you? Where are you? Is it no? And then the other kids are like, ah, or whatever. It's like, and he opens the mask up. He's like, no. And he takes the other mask off. And by the way, is it a Chewbacca mask that he wears? Now? Something else, or a monkey mask, gorilla mask? Can't remember. Like a gorilla mask. I can't remember. But anyway, so he's there like that. He's like, no. He's like, it's a trap. And he has gas and he's about to light the fire. He's like, no, watch out. And they're there and like, come on out of the car. And he goes, doo, 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 and it just goes. Big explosion, like oh shit, you know they're walking and they see everyone there holding hands, like what are they doing and all that, and they're just walking on the beach, like come on, stay here, and then he's like okay, I'll run this way, you go that way, so it's like come on with me, and then they're they're went to do the girl behind the ambulance, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna wait here, okay? If anyone comes, or it's like there he has it fucking hits them, has the baseball bat, um, I, it's and, and the golf club, and it's like I gotta go get him because you know the kids wanted off just to try and save him. So they talk him like, uh, you know, and then it cuts back to Winston Duke and um, the daughter. But then you get this great f finale where she goes in and she's like, "Where are you?" And looking around, and then you get into the the creepy kind of place, and you're like, <gasps> and you see all these different people, and she's kind of like, "What the hell?" and all that, and she's like, oh, wait. and she's there on the kind of dancing and by the way we do get flashbacks earlier on of her like doing ballet and stuff it's like we need to have her do activities that can keep her mind off things with painting and then just doing ballet and stuff and as an adult so we see that and she's kind of given the whole backstory of her and, and you see her in therapy and the plan and all of them gathering around and then this all happen and people walking around and this all happens while you get an orchestrated epic version of I got five on it, but it's like dun, 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 and the way they use that as part of the soundtrack is genius and it's fucking epic and it's goosebumpy and you have everything flashing forward and the whole twist is revealed and then she's like trying to attack again like no and then tries to attack the song like no no and all that and does all it and eventually goes and they're like great fight at the end and all the massive exposition dump all that scene showing the backstory and then she ends up stabbing her clone like oh shit you know they're attacking and the great finale stabs her like <gasps> with the scissors stabs her it's like come on let's go goes grabs her son like mommy he's like yeah come on so they run out they're like okay she's dead we've done it and they save the day they go out they drive off then we think, okay, they kill the villains. Then we get 
the most shocking part of the movie, which I thought was brilliantly done. I didn't see it coming. I even forgot about it the second time I watched it. I actually forgot the twist in this. Um, because I watched this January 2020 because I got this Blu-ray in 2019. I was going to go see it in cinema, but uh, even sir. Uh, huh. Irish people know what that is, but like I think that it was also around the time Endgame came out and like Shazam, even though mm, that's a hard one. <laughs> I love this film, but those are great as well. Um, so they're driving like, yeah, come on, and he gets shots of the all like sunny place, and then like she's just there kind of thinking, and we get more of the flashback, and we see her and the clone meet. I was like, you okay, mom? It's like, yeah, it's great, and she's there holding her son, and as she's thinking back, we then revealed that she was the clone the whole time. She's there looking, turns around and then pushes the door, or falls over, sees the sandals, uh, and walks, and then is there smiling with the tear coming out of her eye. And then you get the, da, 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 and then the shot, and then just the shots of the helicopters and the news report and beautiful long shot at the end and then the movie ends. And it's just brilliantly fucking long. Guys, I love this film. I think it's brilliantly written. It's like in terms of being horror, scary um i think it's very funny um great chemistry with the characters it's original um it's a head scratcher but it's done really well it's beautifully shot the editing is on point the visually stunning to look at um brilliantly shot um brilliantly edited uh, original soundtrack and music and music they use brilliant Acting from everyone, especially the fact that they, they play doppelganger versions of themselves is brilliantly done. The symbol, symbolic images of everyone holding together, the foreshadowing again of everyone holding together, similar to that, because Jordan Peele done that and Get Out as well. It's just everything about this fucking film is great. Um, if I have any issues about it, it's not as good as Get Out, but that's not really a complaint. Like, you know, it's not as good as Get Out, but it's still a great movie so I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10 honestly um, I love this film I think it's great um, I love Nope as well um, so yeah uh, but yeah I already talked about that scene um, and that scene where yeah, he's there with the, the fire and then she's threatening your woman fighting her and then that scene there with the baseball bat so yeah Printed this Blu ray is unbelievable as well. Uh, so, yeah, here's the front, spine, back, and the inside. So, I believe, yeah, monkey paws behind this. I actually don't know if Blumhouse was part of this one. I think it was, but I'm not. I think I might have mentioned that, but I might have actually. Um, I know they were part of. Uh, Get Out, and I know they were part of um, Nope and Candyman, but this, I don't know. So yeah, that was my movie review of Us. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.